There is arbitrariness in the Russian army. The pressure of command on the soldiers is increasing. Russian soldiers under pressure from the command and barrier detachments are trying to restore defense lines in the temporarily occupied territories flooded by the Kharkovka hydroelectric power plant explosion. Natalia Humeniuk, the head of the Joint Press Center of the Defense Forces of Southern Ukraine, said this. In many areas, they are ordered to return and restore the first line of defense, although the occupiers are gravitating to the second line where they were thrown back by high water, where they have already dug in well. The counter-battery work of the defense forces is not as fierce there. But now they are still trying to restore the first line of defense under pressure from the command and barrier detachments, although they are suffering a lot of damage from our guys, informed Humaniuk. At the same time, she noted that the Russian military is constantly trying to move its concentrated efforts, both human resources and weapons. But the fact that we have some fire control over the transportation and logistics routes makes this work of movement very difficult for them, added the head of the Joint Press Center of the Southern Defense Forces. In her opinion, this also undermines the morale of the enemy because they realize that they are being squeezed into territories from which there is only one way out, a black bag. As reported on the night of June the 6th, Russian troops blew up the dam of the Kharkovka hydroelectric power plant, causing large-scale flooding. A number of settlements in the Kherson region were submerged. The flooding also affected the territories of the Mykolaiv region, 